is shivering, so we're going to get straight into this, Liam. Thanks for, for joining us. Um, this was going to be a very different interview at halftime. I thought I cursed everybody again uh, with a pick for this evening. Um, Leeds have, have battled it out. Looking from the outside in, the first four rounds of Super League, three rounds of Super League plus the World Club Challenge, a bit of doom and gloom from the media, pundits alike. What was it like inside the camp during that time? Uh, we've always been confident with uh, you know, how, how we know we can play. Um, Fair enough, we haven't got the results on the pitch, but I think the Warrington game and the Catalan game were, were only very close. So, you know, we've always been confident. Um, so we've been working really hard this week and we really wanted to win this week and luckily we did. And the World Club Challenge you put to bed and moved on from pretty quickly. Um, uh, went down to the south of France, didn't come up with the goods there. That was a, a scrappy game of sorts, but you've got back on the horse here. Now, with you being one of the main pivots, what's, what's your checklist, if you like, leading into to, to game day? What's going through your mind as you're preparing for the game? Uh, just try to be the best I can be. Um, you know, if if everyone does their parts right for the team, then hopefully it gives us a, it gives us a chance of winning. Um, so I just think about my own game. How I'm going to run. How I'm going to tackle or whatever. Like that. And you know, hopefully if they come off and then everyone else does their bit, we might get a win at the weekend. Did you have a game plan, in, a specific game plan in mind for this evening? Uh, I don't think so. No, I think we just wanted to win. Um, you know, we 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 were both on zero points coming into this game. So you know, one of us were. We're going to get the win, and you know that was main focus. We just wanted to win this week and get a good performance in. I think the first half, what you have to admit, I mean, we just had that to Huddersfield. That was a superb first half performance from them, uh, despite s some early early wobbles uh, from Leeds. You didn't, didn't quite click into the groove. 59th minute, that all changed, um, and it, it makes it very easy for me to drag in this now and talk about um, the try that brought it level at 12 apiece just before the hour mark. Before we talk about you and, and your try, um, I, I just want to highlight. Uh, Adam Cuthbertson. First of all, how important is he as a member of this squad? Last year, the, the, I think he revolutionised the way that Leeds played with his offload game. Uh, he, he brought something different tonight, just some, some grit, some determination, refusal to give in. Yeah, that's it. He, you know, he's massive as Cuff boy. What he was last year, and you know, coming into this year, obviously losing the likes of JP and Kylie up front, you know, it were a big loss. And he's really stepped up this year as a leader as well within the group. He's always talking in training and in team meetings, and it's really showing that on the pitch. And you know, he's, he's really leader, and he's, he's shown us how it's done. So this is this is why I picked him out. You know, wanted the quick tap, wanted to get on with it, wanted to affect change and, and, and a, a positive drive for, for the Rhinos. Gets the good setup. Now, this is where I'm going to bring you into it. You're standing off wide at first receiver. What do you see? Uh, I don't know, really. I think I just see a four on four. And um, one of my main goals to, on a game day is try to go to the line and, and you know, see what I can do. And, and luckily, I went. I think, um, I'm sure it might have been Ollie Roberts. I've seen him on the, on the right hand side. I think I saw him come up a bit, uh, come too far in defence. So I've just seen a bit of an all and managed to go through it. See, this is, this is what we, we always we start. And you say, I'm not quite sure how this happened. And then you've basically described what's about to happen in perfect detail because Ollie Roberts is the man from the inside, and he does. He gets up and he overchases to you. And this is, I guess, the instinct to play. So your first, in, your first instinct is to, is to take it into the teeth of this line, knowing that you've got support on the outside. Yeah. So let's run that on a little bit, and then we'll see how... Because Ollie Roberts is just coming off the defensive line here. And he overchases. And this is the man that you spot. It's a gap between Ollie Roberts and Cruz Lehman, I think, in the end. I'll try and take this on. At, at what point does it become, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to the, tuck this under my arm and go? Uh, probably say about there. I can see, I think I looked at him and I can see him looking out uh, to Brett Delaney. So. so he's already worried about this man. He's already worried about Brett Delaney out on the outside yeah, of so you. Yeah, so I thought, worst case, I could get a legs tackle, uh, legs tackle there, get up and get a quick play of the ball. But... You no, know, luckily I managed to be able to get through. So I think, yeah, look, him looking at, um, at Brett Delaney, I managed to get uh, get through there. So it just goes to underline, doesn't it, how important these lines are, that the support lines for you that enable playmakers like yourself to to do things like this. Yeah, it's massive. Well, you can see there, there's, there's two players who's going for going for Brett. So you know, having having players like that who take a lot of people into him, it, it gives you us um, another opportunity to to find those. So let's run this on, and that's exactly what happens. Big strong fend on Cruz Leeming, and all of a sudden we've got a ball game. Lawrence replied for Huddersfield on 63 minutes. So I'm going to take you forward now and, and, and introduce a couple of characters, guys you know very, very well. Um, the next generation, if you like, of the, of the Leeds Rhinos. And I'm going to focus on Jimmy Kynos. He was our game-breaker this evening. I thought two of his late contributions were magnificent. Again, Adam Cuthbertson in the middle, the offload. Rob Burrow, another unforgettable game, you know, refusing to give in. Jordan Lilly, all involved, all your, the guys you've come up with involved. But talk us through this determination from, from Jimmy. He gets the try on the next one. And I want you to, if you can, just break down this play for me. It's Jordan Lilly 
he, he puts a kick through. What would what would make you because the, the kick wasn't on before the play? What would make you in his position put the kick through there? What is the, what are the indicators here? Um, I think he can obviously see Danny Bruff coming up towards him, and I think both options were one pass or kick. Um, luckily, um, I think I remember at the time I was thinking I oh, just pass it, pass it because it, it seemed like it was an easy option, but. He's, he's gone for Grubber through, and then obviously Jimmy's trying to carry it up, and he's managed to get a fingertip on it. So the area that we're looking at again, in behind here, the guy I always, I always look at, I always see the fullback, and a fullback not necessarily at, too far out of position, but the kick was a real good one. You're right, and he puts it, lovely, takes it to the line. I mean, how how crucial is that to the whole 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 ball game? As, I'll take that back, and we'll show that again because he takes that right into the teeth of the line. What difference does that make to a defender? Yeah, that's massive, obviously, because if you look at McGilvery on wing, he can't drop back because Jordan's taking it right into the line. So I think the further you go into the line, the further they're going to have to stay up. Um, they can't anticipate the kick, otherwise the pass option's on. And, you know, McGilvery's starting to come up, and as he's put the kick in, it's, it's been a bit too late to go back. And yeah. It's allowed Jimmy to go through. They have to commit at some point, yeah, don't yeah, they? That's it, yeah. So the Leeds Rhinos get off the mark. Two points in the bag, onwards and upwards. You know, you play weekend, it's away to yeah. Wigan, so that, that, gets, uh, that task yeah. gets a lot easier. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let you get off, take a shower, warm up. Thank you very much for doing this. I appreciate your time, Liam. Congratulations on the win. Cheers, Back mate. to you, Eddie.